Chef is an infrastructure management tool that lets you manage and deploy infrastructure configurations similar to the way you manage and deploy code. In fact, you can keep your infrastructure configuration and version control right alongside your code and, and set up tests to ensure that not only does your code do what you expect, but that it does so in a particular reproducible configuration of your infrastructure. There are three ways to run Chef. Chef Hosted, which uses Ops Code software as a service. Chef Private, which is using your own Chef server. And Chef Solo, running without a server. In this demo, we're going to show how to use Chef Solo. First, because it's a good way to consistently manage a small number of servers. And second, because it's easier to understand how Chef Server works if you've seen what Chef does in a simple Chef Solo environment. So kind of the, the goal of what we're going to try to do here is launch an EC2 instance, get or install Git and Chef on it, use Git to copy some cookbooks and recipes down to the machine from GitHub, then run Chef and verify that it installed Tomcat and Java, then make a change to the Tomcat recipe on GitHub, pull those changes down, rerun Chef and confirm the changes worked. So the GitHub repository we're going to be using here is the Chef Solo demo right here. Um, you can come in and look through it in more detail, but just kind of a high level of what, what we're looking at here. For The main thing it has is a set of cookbooks. Go into the cookbooks. We've got a Java and Tomcat 7 cookbook in there. Um, there's also this DNA.json file, and that just lists what we're going to run. We're going to run a Java recipe, and then we're going to run the Tomcat recipe. If you go into the cookbooks, you'll see, for example, the Tomcat 7 cookbook has some recipes, go into the recipes, there's the default recipe, this is what it's actually going to get run to install Tomcat. These files are there, you can go in and look at them, take a look if you have any questions about what they're doing. But what we want to do here is really focus on uh, showing how, how it can be used. So first, let's go ahead and start up an EC2 instance. Give it a name, and we'll just launch the standard Amazon Linux AMI, which is based on Red Hat Enterprise in Linux, it seems, so it will function similarly. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this started here. And once it comes up, we'll go ahead and copy the URL and SSH into the machine. Okay, now that we're connected, the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and install git and we'll, we'll do that just using yum. And now let's go ahead and we'll use this little command that will install chef. This is from the ops code website. So once this gets installed, we're going to go ahead and look at what the current state of the machine is. So let's, let's see what Java version we're using. And it looks like we're using the OpenJDK is installed now. One of the things we're going to do is, is change that to the Oracle SDK. And let's go ahead and see if we've got anything running on port 8080. Um, this curl command will go ahead and just show us the headers if they're there. But there's nothing running on port 8080. So that's, that's good. That's what we expect. So now, let's go ahead and check out our repository. This, this is in Git, and this is just cop going to copy down all of our cookbook and settings. And we're going to clone this into the var slash chef directory. So this will pull everything down from GitHub, all of our example code. And now what we need to do is run chef solo. So we're going to run chef, and we're going to tell it to use the settings file um, in var chef dna.json. And that basically tells it to run um, two recipes, the Java recipe and the Tomcat recipe. So those are running. And now let's see if it did what we expected. So first, let's look and see what version of Java we've got installed. And as you can see, we're now running a newer version of Java, and it's the Oracle version. And now let's look at, see what's on port 80 on localhost. And we're going to get back the header information from Tomcat here. Now if you notice, the server says Apache Coyote. 
So let's go ahead and see how hard it is to change that. We're going to reconfigure Tomcat so it says something else in there. So first, let's go back to the Git repository. We'll just change it there. We're going to go, we've got the Java and Tomcat 7 recipes. We'll go into the Tomcat 7 one and then go into the template. So here in the template, the server.xml file is what controls the settings in that, um, in that field. So we're going to come down here to the connector and we'll change the default string there by just putting in server equals chef demo server. And we'll commit that, which will put it back on GitHub. So now we're going to have to go back to the server and we'll pull down those changes. So we'll switch to var chef and then pull down the changes from Git. And now let's run chef again. So once again, we're going to use that same dna.json file. And it should now run again, but this time it's going to use a different server.xml file. So let's do curl and look at the headers again. Poor 8080. And as you can see, it now says server chef demo server. 